In today's tutorial, we're learning how to blend images in Canvas so they look more realistic and go together well. And we're starting from a blank canvas. We go to the Elements tab, and here we want to look for Mountain, and let's do Sunset. Go to Photos, and then you can select any photo that you like. I kind of like this one. It has a nice gradient to it, and I'm going to drag it on the slide. Go back to the search bar, and now let's type in Eagle, and see if we can find a nice eagle flying. And I think this one has quite a good pose, so I'm going to select it. And you can see there's quite a big contrast between the picture and the background. So how are we going to blend it? First, we're going to go to Edit Image and Background Remover. This already removes the background and makes it look more integrated in the slide. But the colors are still off and it doesn't look very realistic. So what we can do is we can go to the Adjustments app and now we want to play around with the temperature. Temperature, you can do it to blue, make it blue, but in this case, the main tint of the image is orange. So we're going to drag it more towards the orange size. And here you can see it already blends in nicer with the background and the setting looking more realistic. You can change around any of the other tones. I think this one, the tint to the yellow looks better. The brightness, you can increase it just a little bit and then play around with the settings. I'm going to add some contrast because it is flying somewhere in the shadow with some harsh light of the sun coming on the subject, so I'm going to increase the shadows just a bit. Highlights and the shadow reduce those, maybe just a few points. There we go. Same with the black and whites, I don't think I'll change them too much. Maybe reduce the whites a little bit and the blacks we can also give them like minus 14 points. The vibrance I'm going to increase is because it's a very colorful image, so I also want this subject to be rather colorful. Saturation, I'm not going to play around too much with, maybe just a little bit. There we go. So it nicely has this colorful feel to it. The bottom ones, sharpness, clarity, I'm not going to use. You can see that it's becoming more sharp or like this overly edited feeling. I don't want that on the image, so I'm going to keep that to zero. Same with clarity, I don't want that either. So put both to zero. And the vignette could give quite a nice outline effect. So if I drag it to the left, make it a white you can see that the edges become more bright. So with that sun, it kind of has a nice effect to it. But if you want to go the extra mile, you can go to the effects tab, filters. You can also select one of the presets. So in our case, we have the natural, warm, cool, vivid colors. We're going for the warm colors here. And I think this latte or bronze could do quite well. If it's too much, you can always tune it down just a little bit so that it has a bit of that feeling to it. And I think this one looks quite nice for the image. Let's put that on full screen. And this is how you create this nice blend effect in Canva to merge pictures together and make them look more realistic. If you want to learn more about Canva, make sure to drop a follow and watch the video on the screen right now.